What is going on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I seriously appreciate you tuning in today. We are back here in my 2006 Nissan 350Z. As you saw from the title of today's video, we're gonna be talking about if I think Nissan 350Zs are gonna be classic cars someday in the future. I've put together a few main points as to why I think this car is gonna be a classic. Partially just like looking at other cars and what made those cars classics and then kind of correlating them over to this car and just to see if they apply. And if they do apply to this car, then it's probably gonna be a classic or something. So let's go through the different points that I had thought of. All right, so let's start with the very first point I had and that's gonna be performance. I kind of wanted to get performance just out of the way just because I feel like the way a car performs doesn't necessarily predict how much of a classic it's gonna be or like a collector's car it's gonna be. So. I mean, I don't know if it gets more fun than that for less than 10 grand, that's all, that's all I'm saying. But the interesting thing about performance is a lot of cars that are classic cars and collector cars, they're not really known for their performance. Like maybe at the time they were really fast and like handled really well, but like as years go on, I think a collector car really, regardless of performance, is kind of just something people want. And especially if it's in fairly good condition, something that people are afraid to drive because they don't want to put miles on it. And I feel like 350Zs are kind of already getting there. But like I was saying, performance, 3.5 liter V6, 300 horsepower in the rev up, 306 horsepower in the HR. I actually had this thing on a dyno about a year ago and it made 271 horsepower to the wheels, which was pretty impressive because even after 16 years of driving this car and almost 90,000 miles, at basically the wheel horsepower it ran from the factory. Because if it's, there's like 10% drivetrain loss from the crank to the wheels. So if it says 300 horsepower at the crank, I would assume at least 270 at the wheels, right? So I was pretty impressed to see that it still had 271 horsepower at the wheels. We do have a muffler delete and an air intake, so it probably does help the, the breathability a little. But I still think it's pretty impressive. So performance, I think this thing definitely checks out. It definitely keeps up with most things they're making today on the road. Even a lot of like modern turbo cars, like a, even my brother's 2020 Honda Civic Si, the 350Z from 06, it keeps up, okay? It keeps up and it does an amazing job. So, so the next few things are the reasons I actually think it's gonna become a classic. Uh, the second thing is gonna be basically styling and looks. I feel like the 350Z has, it's kind of like a retro styling, but at the same time, I feel like it's really modern looking. Like I feel like it's really smooth. One thing I love about the 350Z is that Nissan didn't try and go crazy with like the design and stuff. I see on the forums a lot that 350Zs are kind of referred to like as eggs just because they look so round on the back, especially if you don't have a wing on the back there. If I had to choose between the 350Z and the 370Z based on just styling alone and not like the motor or anything, because I know the 370Z has an extremely refined version of the VQ, so it would be pretty tough. If someone put a mint 370Z and a mint 350Z right next to each other, I, I think I would choose the 350Z just because I love the styling. So the third thing I want to talk about as we approach the mall over by this is like dealership lane. We got like Nissan, Toyota, Honda, Jeep, and Dodge, and then Chevy's right here also. We got all kinds of dealerships. So the third reason I feel like the 350Z is gonna be a classic like collector's car, it's just the, oh, 370Z. Oh. The fan base alone for this car is so strong and almost every single 350Z owner, oh, oh, yes, 350, that's clean. That's clean. Almost every single 350Z owner I've come across is super cool and super passionate about their car. And so I feel like the 350Z just has a huge, just a huge loyal fan base, which I think is amazing. Let me slide it right here. <laughs> Of course, there's some other amazingly strong communities, but the Z community, starting with the 240, coming all the way up to the new Nissan Z, I mean, there's been many, many, many years of just lineage that have been able to grow. The Z community is massive, and the 350Z community does not disappoint whatsoever, so it's coming down out here. I would love to do some donuts in that parking lot right now, but, you know, that's, that's not very... It's not very cool. I'm like trying to figure out how to adjust the windshield wipers so they're faster. There we go. I'm gonna put three amazing 350Z websites right here on the screen. If you're in UK or anywhere I've listed, go check out these websites. There are so many people on these websites that know about these 350Zs and they know so much information and everything you can think of has been thought about basically and every mod that you can try to do has probably been done. So you can learn so much from these people. Man, we break the traction so quickly in this thing. What I think is really cool is I feel like everyone that grew up with these cars, like imagine in 2006, let's say I was born in 96. So in 2006, I was 10, 10 years old. I honestly think a lot of people that remember this car growing up that couldn't buy them when they were younger just because they were so young. 
It seems as our generation gets older and we buy up these 350Zs, it seems like a lot of people are like accomplishing childhood dreams, which is amazing because I see so many comments in the comment section that are like, oh man, I remember seeing the 350Z and I finally have one. It's like a dream come true. Like it's just so cool to see people acquire their like childhood dream car, especially like their affordable dream car. I'm sure everyone has a dream to own like a Lambo or some, some crazy expensive sports car someday. But there's something about finally acquiring your affordable dream car that I think is just, you just never forget. It's something that you'll remember for the rest of your life, which is pretty amazing. See, it would be crazy to drift that corner, but my open diff could never. <laughs> we would randomly gain traction and just like flick it into the bushes. I don't know what it is, but I feel like if I were to drift going left, it would be way better than going to drift going right. I don't, I feel like I'm just better with the, my, like my steering wheel control going left than I am going right, which is weird because I'm right-handed. So you'd think I'd have really good control, like pulling the steering wheel down to like maintain the drift. But in reality, I feel like I have more like steering wheel accuracy with my left hand, which is really weird. Oh yes. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was like the desirability along with kind of like people buying their childhood affordable dream cars, electric cars are literally wiping gas cars off the face of the planet as we speak. So, and automatic transmissions basically did that 30 30 years ago. So the fact that the 350Z comes in a manual transmission is is, it's pretty amazing to be honest with you. And there's not very many fun cars out there that come in a manual still. I do think a lot of car companies nowadays are like forced to put manual transmission in, kind of like the new Porsches. Like I really don't know if Porsche would still be making manual transmissions if people weren't just diehard enthusiasts of the manual. Because if it was solely about speed, they would have left the paddle shifters in there and just no one would have complained. But people love the driving experience and the fact that this thing comes in a manual is, 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 is one of the best reasons why the 350Z is amazing. I just don't know if they're ever gonna make another car like this ever again, where you have enough technology to where I can still crank the Bluetooth, play my favorite tunes, I have bass in here. It's not like the Miata where it's just, the audio is extremely flat. This experience inside this car is really amazing. For under 10 grand, like you really can't beat it. It's got a manual and it's got great power. It's rear wheel drive. Like there's just endless amazing things that I could say about this car. So. It's coming down out here. Oh man, I mean the smile I have on my face when I drive this thing is hilarious. I wish I had like a, a face cam as well. So in conclusion, do I think that this car is gonna be a classic someday where people are gonna be desiring them? <laughs> oh yeah. These cars in good condition will be collector's cars in my opinion. I have way too much fun in this thing for it to not be. And I think anyone else that were to drive this thing would, would experience the same, anyone else to drive this thing would feel the same way. Like they, they would understand what I'm talking about. So that concludes my whole rant. If it's gonna be a classic car, I mean, I have so much fun driving this thing. I haven't even opened my monster yet. Cheers, everyone, cheers, cheers. Oh, I probably don't sound like I need any more caffeine, but I haven't even had any yet today. And this energy you're experiencing right now is just pure 350Z fed energy. Like this car, it brings out the energy in you. You could be so tired, drive a 350Z and you're good. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. Drop a subscribe if you haven't joined the family yet. I seriously post POV videos like this all the time. I love driving this thing. And I've been talking about going on like a 2000 mile road trip in this thing. It is becoming the winter season. And as you go east in the United States, it kind of gets just really snowy and stuff. Like I'm sure there's places we can go that are dry, but the weather might not be the best. So we might wait till spring or something. I think that would be kind of crazy. Something I would definitely have to plan for because I think I be gone for probably months at least two i think that would be an experience that i would never forget and i think it'd be really fun so thank you so much for joining us hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one peace out